Chapter 2 is an introduction to Code Composer Studio version 5.x. Code Composer Studio is an integrated development environment, or IDE, that combines editing, debugging, and analysis tools into a single package. It's based on the Eclipse open source development tool. Before you can write code for the Tiva C series device, you need to get acquainted with the tool that you'll be using. Tiva C series microcontrollers are supported by four different integrated development environments. Mentor Graphics, Mentor Embedded, IAR Systems Embedded Workbench, ARM Kyle Microvision, and Texas Instruments Code Composer Studio. Each company offers different evaluation licenses. Some are code size limited and others are time limited. Code Composer Studio is full function, but it's onboard emulation limited. When connected to the Launchpad board, it is fully functional and free. Only if you connect Code Composer Studio to a target board will you need to purchase it. Some companies use the GNU compiler, while others use their own. TI's compiler has been developed in-house over many years. For the debugger and editor interface, two of the tools offer Eclipse support. Eclipse is an open source tool that's quite popular at this time, primarily because of the many third-party tools that are available as add-ins. The prices for upgrading to the full show versions are shown on the chart. CoComposer Studio is $445 US for the downloaded version. If you want the CD, it's $495 US. Most of the companies offer JTAG debuggers, and there are also quite a few third-party debuggers for sale as well. Development tools like Code Composer Studio and evaluation products like the Launchpad board are just a part of TI's support ecosystem for its processors. Runtime software support includes TivaWare for C-Series as well as TI's RTOS called SysBIOS. There is a rich community of support for TI's products through the forums, E2E pages, wikis, in-person, and online training. TI's runtime software support includes TI Wares and TI RTOS. TI Wares, like TivaWare, minimize programming complexity with low-level driver libraries and peripheral driver libraries. They can be used with multiple development environments. TI's RTOS is comprised of an optimized real-time kernel called SysBIOS. SysBIOS is optimized for TI devices and includes scheduling, memory management, instrumentation, and is fully compatible with TivaWare. Programming of USB and Ethernet ports is made easier with file systems and stacks. CoComposer Studio is an integrated development environment. This means that it contains the tools necessary to create, compile, and debug software on your design. CCS is based on the open source Eclipse platform and is quite flexible and expandable. A normal development flow would be to create C source files using the editor on the left. These files would then be compiled to create assembly files, which are then assembled in the relocatable object files. These object files, along with any libraries that you may include, are linked into an output file using the guidance provided by the command file. The command file contains a list of all memories on the part and what types of software should be placed within them. Finally, the debugger on the right uses the target configuration file and gel startup files to initialize and load your software onto your target device. CoComposer Studio contains a simulator on which you can test your software. Evaluation boards, like the Launchpad, contain their own built-in emulator to connect CCS to the hardware. For target boards that do not contain an emulator, like any normal customer design, a standalone emulator must be provided. There are many available from TI and other third parties. The target configuration file specifies the connection to your target. This target can be an emulator, an evaluation board emulator combination, or a standalone emulator connected to a target. The target device and the emulator to be used 
must be specified. If applicable, gel files can be used to initialize the hardware setup. In Eclipse, designs are organized into workspaces and projects. This view in Code Composer Studio is of the Project Explorer window. When you start Code Composer, it will ask you what workspace you'll be working in. The contents of that workspace will be shown in the Project Explorer window. You can have many projects within the workspace and open and close them at will. The Project Explorer will show you the contents of the workspace and of the projects themselves. This is a conceptual view of workspaces and projects. Physically, both of these are merely folders on your computer. The workspace folder contains co-composer settings and preferences and projects that reside inside the workspace folder or that may be linked from elsewhere. When you delete a linked project using Project Explorer, only the link will be deleted. When you delete a copied project using Project Explorer, the actual project files will be deleted. Settings made at the workspace level affect all projects in the workspace. The project folder contains the build and tool settings for each project. Again, files can be linked to or reside in the project folder. Deleting a linked file within the Project Explorer only deletes the link. A project can contain source files, which includes code and data, header files for declarations, library files, and other settings. To create a new project in Code Composer Studio, select File, New, CCS Project from the menu bar. You'll need to define the project location. This can be inside the workspace folder or anywhere you like on the drive. You then need to specify the connection to the target and the device that will be used. This information is used to create the target configuration file. You can select from a number of project templates, for instance, empty ones, empty but with a main template, an assembly project, a BIOS project, and other example templates. When you add files to your project, you can either copy or link them. Source files are typically copied, while library files are typically linked or referenced. To add a file to your project, just click on the project name and select Add Files. You can then select the file or files that you want to add to the project. Finally, select Copy or Link to decide how the files will be imported into the project. If you select Copy, this will copy the file from its original location into the project folder, meaning there will be two copies. If you select Link, this will reference or point to the source file in the original folder. You can also select a reference point. Typically, that's where the project is located. It's quite important to make your projects portable. Portable projects simplify the sharing of your work with colleagues or support staff. It makes it easier to relocate your project if desired, and when software libraries are updated, it makes it a simple change to just link to them. In the top figure, you can see that copied files are not a problem since they'll move right along with the project folder. Linked files, on the other hand, may be an issue since they're located outside the project folder and are referenced by either an absolute or a relative path. Note the path variable in the bottom figure for the relative paths. This is specified for every linked file. There are two different kinds of variables that are used, path and build. Path variables are used by CCS to store the base path for relative linked files. So the project loc variable is set to the location of your project and can be used as a reference point for many other relative paths. Build variables are used by Code Composer Studio to store the base path for build libraries or files. CG under tool under root is set to the path for the code generation tools, which are the compiler and the linker. This is used to find your header files and any other object libraries. 
These two variables are automatically defined when you create a new project and when you install Code Composer with the build tools. TiVaWare and any additional support libraries will require you to create some new variables yourself. We could use the project loc or project root to link to our resources, and this will create an almost portable project, since the links in your projects are relative to these locations. If you move or copy your project, you'll have to put them at the same folder level in your file system. Defining a link and build variable for the TiVaWare location will give us a relative path that does not depend on the location of the project. This is more portable. Also, when the next version of TiVaWare arrives, we only need to change this variable, which is easier than creating new relative links. On the CCS menu bar under Project Properties, expand the resource category and click on Linked Resources. You'll see a tab for Path Variables. Click New and add your new path variable. Again in the Properties, click on the Build category and then click on the Variables tab. Click New to add a new build variable. In the lab, we'll add a path and build variable called TiVaWare under install that will point to the latest TiVaWare release. Note that you can define variables to be a part of your project, or you can define variables that will be a part of your workspace and be a part of all the projects within it. CoComposer has two predefined build configurations debug, and release. The debug configuration is great for, as the name implies, debugging. It includes the symbol tables and no optimization. The release configuration is better for performance, but contains no symbol tables and the code has been optimized. This can make debugging difficult or impossible. You can create your own custom build configurations by right-clicking on the project and selecting properties. Then click Processor Options or any of the other categories that you want to change. There are a variety of options for licensing CoComposer Studio. Licenses can be node-locked, floating, or time-based. All versions, whether full, board-specific, or free use, contain the same image. They're simply licensed differently. Updates to CoComposer are readily available online. The Platinum Evaluation Tools are bundled and are available as a free 90-day evaluation period. You can purchase a node lot license for either $445 US for the download or $495 US for the CD. The annual maintenance fee is $99 US. The floating license is $795 US with a $159 US annual maintenance fee. The MSP430 16K Code Limited License is free. Remember that CCS is free and fully functional when connected to the TM4C 123GXL Launchpad Board. For additional training on Code Composer Studio, look to the menu bar for tutorials and the wiki page shown for more detailed training. In this workshop, we will barely scratch the surface of Code Composer's capabilities. In Lab 2, you'll start using CCS. Don't get bogged down trying to understand the code. You'll get to do that in the next lab. Here, just concentrate on the tool itself.